he has the urge to look at look further in and the house is his why um attic is the last thing we're gonna check let's check this place out first oh i've been here already yeah remember we just said grandfather clock was gently ticking nearby almost sleep inducing i was glad it was working we have a huge vase of oriental craftsmanship standing by the windows. By our torn umbrella. We already checked the piano, we already checked the nut place. I'm guessing we checked everything from downstairs. Um, I'm, I really must double check. Dining hall. There's a kitchen. This place is the hallway. Which means there are two ways of going through places. Hello. This is interesting. There's a hidden compartment in there. I can see I can see that it's a, that it's hidden. Oh man. I need, I need some light in here. Let's lead up, lighten up the place. It did not. It's still as dark as heck. Alright. Checked all of these. We've checked this one. Further up. I did check this one. I did check this one, yeah. Almost locked. No, not locked. Stuck. Put her in. There's more renovations. To those places. And there's just a pile of old bricks. What's this? Yeah. You can drag me outside. Cool, but I'm gonna leave that closed for now. Is full of all the rusty lamps adorned to the top of the tower. This is a tower. Oh, interesting. Let's show me outside. That is a nice view. Lots of wood cut. Wood in a form. Might be a good form, yeah. This door was locked, but I could see a key on the other side to the key. It's not from the inside. How is that possible? The other side is stuck. This is this is a place that I'm dreading. Alright, okay, 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 okay. So this staircase goes from there to there. Then it's a weird place. It's the last door. Attic with a lot of junk. A useless array of random items of every imaginable size and color come occupying all the corners of the attic. A music box. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what that what that does. Though quite interesting to see. These are one of my items. Newspapers. Mirror. Gramophone. Boxes. I couldn't see clearly enough to identify the objects in that dark area. Just in case I tried again, but it still was no power. It's a paper. Newspaper. I love newspapers was huge. You need a more specific date to look for. So if you know a date, then we can check. It's a chest. And it can go. Hey, go me Chef Lenson. Not nice. Come take a trip in my aeroplane. It's not, I can't read any of those. I don't know how to, how to do what to do with 
Thanks. Alright, that does what I'm supposed to do. Straight in my eyes, I detected there was anything useful among the junk, but instead I got the impression of a sinister presence lurking in the shadows. Use this? The lamp doesn't have any oil in it. Ah! The Avengers made these trinkets. There's nothing of interest to money, these trinkets. There's nothing of interest to money, these trinkets. I kept tracked the entire place out then. Can you say there's something I'm missing? Go back down. Do we have oil? No point in writing an address on it until I had something to mail. Fair enough, I guess. So what next? I, I've checked everything. Fine, I'm gonna look around. Something of worth. These books, for example. Oh, oh no. There's more. April 20th. During a fit of rage, I burned my pre any my previous diary. Not that I regret it, as, it, as it's as if my disjointed notes were worth anything. The only purpose was to keep me sane. I, f I feel that this is my escape route. My only means of finding some inner peace. Whenever I put my pen to this paper, I feel that I can reflect upon my situation. Any situation. I just wish I had more options. That's all, but I'm rambling. I must think clearly. Focus, focus. May 12th? I've become an eternal, eternal guardian. Stuck between few choices, none of which are good. Do I fulfill a promise and violate everything that I believe in? Very principle of my life, or am I condemned to spend the rest of my existence in this... In this deadened state? A ghost with no other purpose than just being there here, watching? I truly have no escape, I can't find an appropriate solution to this problem, and I must pay the price. I'm a shadow of the man I used to be. Only does notes remain. My testament to these moments of meditation, my sole companion. June 26th. Today I spend the entire afternoon staring at the window, my mind a blank. Oddly enough, I really don't care. It seems now as though it was something natural for me. Part of my personality, but I know the reason very well. Plus my soul. I'm an empty shell. Devoid of any feelings. I renounced them on that fateful day. And the worst thing is... I knew... Wait, where was I? I knew there was going to be consequences. No, no, that's not true. Consequences were far worse than I expected. How could I be so blind? January 20... 23rd... 24th. 29th, okay, 29th. I often wonder what would have happened if we had simply reversed it all. What would happen if right now I come out and told the world what really happened? No, and end up running in jail. Though that might be better. Destiny compared. To be a better destiny compared to this eternal suffering. Remember... Twenty seventh? No, seventh scenes. Seventeenth. Yeah. Can't say for sure when it began. Just heard them one morning, coming f from the next room. Whispers. Are they real? I've been alone for too long. They won't stop. I can't stand it any longer. Very nice. As this is locked in a way that everything seems to have calmed down a bit. Perhaps James was right after all. It's madness, I know. But at this point, I'd be inclined to believe anything. May. Just May. Over the years, I was convinced that everything James suffered was a misfortune. 
uh, whim of destiny for the first time ever. I'm not sure, sure anymore. I never thought it could happen, but I believe I understand now. If this is so, then cursed be my soul. Poor James. If I had acted in another way, then maybe things would have worked. Worked out differently. But it's too late now. And I have to suffer my calvary. September 13th. The noises are back, although this time... They're different before. They're different. Before, I'd only hear them inside my head. As if someone or something was whispering. And... How to put this? Interrupting my thoughts. But now, I can really feel them spreading around the house. What are they? September 14. I've realized. The noises are coming from down there. I don't want to think about it anymore. December. They're unbearable. They get worse at night. Oh, how I wish it would stop. What's going on down there? I don't dare go nearer. I want to know. God, how many years have passed. I've lost a sense of time. I have to get out of this place. That disturbed me in a way I couldn't explain. I felt curious about what had been tormenting that poor fellow. I wonder how long a cup of coffee had been sitting there. No idea. Uh, is there a basement somewhere? Where is the basement? Or is he talking about the catacombs? Or the crypt? Crypt. Catacombs. Uh, probably crypt. Sort of the same thing. I have checked that journal. I need to check the... Something outside. Okay. Let's see if I can find some kind of... Cellar. Doesn't seem to be any over there, but there is a pathway over here. Let's see what this leads me. Oh! The church. Massive double doors leading to the interior of the chapel were locked. Okay, well, I guess then that's all I can find over here. Let it checked. I know that I have a chapel as well. I have a crypt and I have a chapel. What kind of ungodly place do we live in? Where does this lead me? An outhouse? No, the greenhouse. The door of the greenhouse was stuck. Oh, I will do some serious rusting of his hinges. Yeah. Uh, what? what the, where am I going? Okay. This is me getting so lost. All seems fine. All seems fine. Oh, this is a place. The hefty lock was preventing my entry to the garage. Find a key. That's a stethoscope. Couldn't hear anything out of you. Ha! I think this is where it's supposed to be for. He didn't fit here. Okay. You see what kind of lock it is? Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, well, I guess that's nothing. Boot of my car, which, considering my non existent technical expertise, I hope it will never need to open. Does it know how to open this car? I'm inside. <laughs> Cute. Well, I pick. What was this? Key to my trusty car. We definitely need that. So the car started. What happens if I just put it in? Well, I only just arrived, and the idea of going driving again wasn't very tempting. Right, 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 fine, fine. Sheesh. Imposing main gates regarding the entrance to the manor. It's a manor now, huh? I guess so. Alright. 
so we can leave our house if we're able to leave, uh, leave the place if we're able to leave at all. So I haven't found the down there thing yet. Where is the down there? I didn't check these places. Where did I? Oh, those are probably the maiden, the maid quarters. The men. House people quarters. The topmost sheet of paper of the pile has some curious markings in it. So I'm glad to have a closer look. It was a piece of paper with some marks, and I was sure there was much more to it than it first seemed. Clear. Squirrel. That's a book. Is there about it? It's my journal. The old fashioned lamb made me think of exciting adventures I've always dreamed of going on. Just a bunch of un uninteresting books. It's in the pot. And though? Son of bat. The bat in this room was miserable looking. Practical photography. It was a the person living here was a photo photographer. More pictures. He made all the pictures from the outside. Pretty pictures though. Nothing on the ordinary. Thought so. Nothing in the drawer. Empty drawer. Camera. Looks like whoever stayed in this room loved photography. I was wondering where that. It was just some useless junk. Can't check on the carpet. Let's go further, further too. Oh. The bathroom uses a dark room. The sink was covered with a thick coating of dust. Looks as if the cleaning ladies had skipped this room. Maybe for good reason, it's probably haunted. The smell coming from the toilet prevented any further investigation. <laughs> Pictures though. It's the manor. That's probably the dude. And then the other one is a, the crypt. What's with the... Pretty nice. They're pretty nice. Pretty nice. And there was one in here. It looks like a, a kitchen. It is saying the kitchen and the other door from the perspective of where he stands. There's no water running. Let him use this kind of dark room. Yeah, yeah. That is for sure. For sure, a dark room. I'm guessing the door to the le left of here is the door that we, that we need to go to, to continue. The door to what I assume was the basement was locked. What was the key? How do I open the basement? It must be linked with this. Oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I see drawer. Pencils. Grab the pencil. <laughs> I have a feeling what he wants to do with the pencil. The pencil is very ordinary. I managed to reveal what appeared to be a letter in Italian. Oh. It's a letter in Italian. I have to do something about it. Do you need some help with a letter? But who should I have mailed it to? I need to send him a letter? 
是什么？哦 h knows Italian? Who do we know that knows Italian? Oh, it was an old picture of the kitchen, and I had just left. As for that vase, it definitely rang a bell. Vase? Is it the entire thing that I'm supposed to do, looking for old stuff, of pictures? Sink that vase. There's something to do with the vase. The vase is gone. But it needs the keyhole. Wait, where is that vase? I'm gonna go through the entire the entire house looking for one vo one vase. Healer, except they're running the keys hang from it. Okay, let's look for the vase. Find the vase. Asshole, this is probably the vase. <laughs> There was one fireplace that has, that has been used. You can see that with the, with the charts, thingamajigs. Over here. That's one that wasn't used. Generous amount of wood in it, and it was relieved to know that. Going to place up and getting cold. I'm certainly not good at chopping trees. This is where, where we are, where we are at. Okay, so the electrician will go, will, is on his way to solve the light issue, okay? State of Contribe, of his James Blackwood. How's that a power? You can't hear anything. can I have everything, I guess. Hopefully just a minor glitch. But I should tell Jerry. I think we should tell, we told Jerry. Can we call Jerry? Oh, that's the thing. Maybe Jerry knows it. Maybe Jerry knows Italian. Call the phone. I want to speak with Jerry. Hello? Jerry, it's me. What's up, Michael? Everything seems to be fine, except the lights don't work. Oh, you don't have to worry. I forgot to tell you. I had an electrician, one that I trust. To meet you there this morning. You know how a lack of power can be a recurring issue in old places like that. He should be arriving soon. That's good to know. I'll set up my stuff and let you know how everything does later. Perfect. Have fun. And don't forget to stop by the gates to meet that guy. Sure. Great, I have to go by myself? Barbara. Probably the Italian speaker. Hello, Arthur Productions. Are they productions? What in heaven's name was that? Oh, hi, boss. I was just fooling around. <laughs> well, don't. I don't want people thinking I'm some kind of studio. And don't call me boss. I'm sorry. It's just that no one was calling, and all of a sudden I got excited. I told you it was going to be that way, girl. But I still need you there. I just hope you're not being bored to death. Oh, don't worry. I'm studying tongues during my spare time. I love that so much. That's great, but don't lower your guard. As soon as I publish my new book, that place is going to get riddled with phone calls and hundreds of fan mail. That's the spirit, boss. I know your new book's going to be a huge success. Of course it will. <clears throat> as soon as I find a proper ending. <clears throat> and stop calling me boss. As you wish, boss. Oh, sorry. Thanks. Goodbye. Good luck. Call 911. Crap, no, never mind. Uh, can I go back, go back, go back, go back, go back? Can I call Barbara again? I called Barbara. Hello? 
Hey, it's me, Bobby, dear. I need to ask you a favor. Bring it on. I found a letter here, and I'm curious about it. It's in Italian. Do you think you could translate it for me? My, Mr. Athwaite, are we being naughty? Mrs. Stiles. Yes, yes, of course I can. Just send me the letter and I'll put hands to work as soon as I have it here. Excellent. Hmm. I wonder if the postman will come by. I feel like I'm the last person alive on the whole planet here. But have you told the post office in Rothbury that you're moving to Blackwood Manor? Yes, Jerry did. I just hope they don't forget about me, that's all. In any case, thank you. You're such a dear. That's what I'm here for. Actually, that's what I'm paying you for. Anyway, I'll go and try mailing that letter. I'll be standing by for action. Thanks. Goodbye. Good luck. I'm so glad I remembered that we have a phone that we can use. Cause God damn it, I forgot. Put it in. Uh, right. Well. Uh, where do we put it? I guess we put it outside. I we go outside anyway. Somebody's just been at the front gate. I went to the front gate, just as the area was talking but there was no sign of the electrician. I mail a letter. There's still no sign of the electrician. Oh, here is the mailbox. Oh. Well, that certainly was a smooth start. Mr. Arthead. Arthead. Mr. Carter sent me here today to fix a power problem in your residence. So the meet you at the gates, but I've been waiting a few minutes and I still haven't seen any sign of you. I will wait some more and leave. Please contact Mr. Carter as soon as possible. You look Oh yeah, mail. Mail, 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 mail. Mail. Uh, that's it, I guess. I've mailed it. Boy, I think, phone, and journal. Let's talk to Mr. Carter again. Carter Properties. Jerry, we have a problem. What happened? <sighs> the electrician missed me. He left a note in the mailbox. Bloody hell. He was supposed to meet you at the gates early this morning. I thought he was just being late. Damn, that I must have missed him for a few minutes. What the heck am I supposed to do now? Why don't you go check the fuses yourself? Maybe it isn't that serious. I don't know. I'm not very good with that kind of thing. Michael, even my grandmother could improvise a fuse. Just go and look and let me know if you see anything burnt. <sighs> As in black spots? Yes, black spots. All right, I'm on it. Probably in the basement, and I don't have the key, so I wish I was probably gonna have had to get with that. I'm no paramaniac! Carefully holding a sharp butcher's knife. Okay, I'm, I'm taking and keeping that with me. Just to be sure. Nothing in the upper one. Nothing in the lower compartments. Coffee. Coffee. 
Grinder was open and waiting for anything to be tossed inside to test his blades. <laughs> Don't have anything to test it. It's a nice old fashioned grinder. So I can use that to grind something with. Good to know. Further doesn't seem to be anything here. Oh, this is the. These are, these, are, these are things. These are things. No. The vase isn't here. I'm guessing it's upstairs. This, this thing is still giving me the creeps. But. Let's look around for the vase so that we need to find. Is that really not him? This one? Oh, I could have hurt myself. Yo, boy. Yo, yo, wanky. Let's just see if we found that glass somewhere. Oh, what can I do with those? Nothing. Nothing. There he is there. A vase, a vase. I don't think there's a vase over here. No. Well, this thing looks familiar. That's a towel rack. A towel hanger? It was loading something. Saw that. That's a vase. This thing. Nope. Out of luck. Books in engineering, maths, physics. Not my thing. Clock. A dog. Clock. A dog. Uh, puzzle games. Puzzle games. A puzzle game is one thing. But finding it. So you'll have to remind a curious feeling of having missed something. A dick. That's what you are. Well, that pot must be somewhere. Some trash. Oh. Why is it that I can't concentrate? Crumbling pages like this. I'm getting worse. I. I. The whispering. They're killing me. They cannot be real. They cannot be real. Barred the doorway, but still can hear them in my dreams. How to get rid of it? If it was only that simple, it's hanging apart with. with. Tor? With force, when to admit its otherworldly nature. No, it just can't be possible. Can't allow these thoughts to cross my mind. But I can really hear them. So clearly, I've really lost it. it. Just can't be that. I'm experiencing exactly what James did. It has b to be influenced. How else to explain that every time I walk past the gallery, the whispers grow louder. To lure me inside, it wants me closer. I can hear them again. Yes, the tortured souls of the fall now for suffering for eternity, a chance, next room. No, for sure, it's source now, I can't fool myself any longer. Those drums? Please, for Christ's sake, don't let me drums. The document is, I have to keep going because if James is right. May God have mercy on our souls. What a doorway. Hmm. What about the distress? The weather this much. I don't know. The thing I do know is I'm looking for a random jar. I never fancied naps. Fucking hell. He says that's no, too early, and I was like, oh, fancy nap, fancy nap. Really didn't feel like writing. Ugh. Oh. Boobs. Let's see in the lower one. Did I already check those? Nope. This is a true doctor's place. Michael. Ugh. Good brush. Pencil was too big to fit in the keel. Ah. Damn, I really did think of it. 
could have hurt myself. Glad the light coming from a little door. So we need something to jam to it. There is some un uninterested boxes. Ah, there's a chance there could be something up there. So the chances are lightly. At least so. You see, to find a vase, a jar, whatever the thing is I'm looking for. Where am I now? What? No? Oh. Ow. Huh. I'm over here. Let's look for the, in the construction things. It's always something. Like, I'm doing this sporadically or frantically. That I'm missing a lot of stuff. One of trash and streamers, unbelievable. What's this? Needle stove standing on the plank. I had to light the stove first. Okay. I'm no pyromaniac. Why you ask me to light the stove first? Bitches. Mm, on the trash. Didn't even want to imagine a pile of rubbish store inside these boxes. I'm on the trash, trash, trash. I did check this one. I need a hint. Let's see what Jerry has to say. Jerry, it's me. What's up, Michael? Do you know anything about the previous inhabitants of this house? Not much. Just there were some strange individuals. There's also the murder. You're kidding me. A murder? An old-fashioned murder. You'd probably love the details, but sadly I don't know very much. It's old history, really. Although it caused quite a stir there in Rothbury. It seems the owner, James Blackwood, I think, went mad and killed his wife. I do remember the date, though. May, 1963. James. James Blackwood, according to the stuff I've been reading. Oh, so you're already turning the place upside down. I should have thought so. There's enough material for a whole series of stories here, you know. After you finish your book, my friend. Yeah, yeah. But it can never hurt poking around a little. Would you just get back to work? Call me if you need anything. All right. Goodbye. Well, I do need uh, something. I need a hint. But yeah, but the bar right now, but I wasn't paying. I wasn't paying it that much after all. Fair enough. Yeah. Bleated the modest furnishings in the lobby. Time was 1 p.m. Let's see if the time changes afterwards. Oh, I wish I could find a way to get to you. I'm just like gold chain Jerry. I am busted. That's so mean. Oh. I could use that to get the key. Boring tool. Like it's a boring tool or it's a thing used for drilling. I can use it though. Uh, uh this way, this way. Here. Thank you. Go ahead. I had to have some meanings of retrieving the key. Good thinking. Need some paper. To a gruesome murder occurs at a house. Let's flesh a murder. I need some kind of paper towel to get the key. Probably the key that I'm looking for. 
What's the key to open the, the door? And then there's something that I'm looking for. I'm gonna pick anything. Oh, no, I saw painting, and oh, no, I saw painting. Can I take any of you? Can I just take a towel? Well, I haven't found it. Huh. Okay. Towel. I guess it's too clean. Consider it. Just get the key and open the door. Luck would have it. Getting there. Getting closer to one step. What the thing? Okay. Rack. There. Was clean enough. I didn't ask you to. That wasn't useful. Oh, well, you shut up. So it means you're doing the key this thing. Just clean up. I don't want you to clean anything. I picked a rag for something else. You, sir, are stupid. Oh, I'm cleaning, cleaning. Uh. Yeah, it's not the thing that I'm asking him to grab. Like, he grabs a random thing, and then that's it. What does he do with it? Oh, I can clean something. I can clean with it, but I can't use it to get a stupid key. And he complained about trinkets. Like, man, just take something to use to get the key. Was clean enough. It, not, nothing is clean enough. I'm just curious now about some other thing. I need that crib thing. Let me check over here. That wire. Is it is? It was impossible to cut the wire with the knife. Okay, well, at least he tried. Now I'm still stuck, you know? Can you help me find a suitable rag? I can help you. Like, I have a rag. You could just use it to get the key. I feel like I'm missing something. I, 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 I want to consult the online now. Much of uninterested books. Maybe your book is uninteresting. If your book was about I venture to a matter, I'm looking for a rag that I already have, but I can't use it. A sham, though, a sham. I can see that there must be, must have been something. He just doesn't want to admit it. And that's for this time. There's nothing out of the ordinary over here. That's how our guy would say it. Something out of the ordinary. Nothing to see. What the fuck? Where the heck am I? What that? Small pool of water below the arching tree. Clean enough? No, it's just a pool of water. Why am I at the pool of water? The three ways to go. Let's see, I went back to the pool of water. Oh my fucking god! This place is. Back. Oh, 
Oh, now it does it. Fuck you! You fucking asshole! I need to be really careful where I put my hand then. Holy shit! Rusty golden key was quite heavy. Well, yeah, you you lost the key by being stupid. Don't give a nice thing to place him up the door. You can finally have eeriness. Cooks conduct the tours. Oh, Why well, is it like this? There's the stars and then uh, uh, It was terribly cold and damp in the basement. This just sounds like a real basement. Shit. It's fine, it's fine. What the? There's even a lower, lower place. With a huge furnace covering most of the east wall, I didn't understand why, but I began to feel terribly uneasy. It had a menacing look to it. The atmosphere was dense and claustrophobic. There's someone interested in boxes. You're uninteresting! Is that the... Oh, stuck in one watch. It's a drink cover in the concrete. Go and check the fuses. Oh, there it is. Wait, 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 wait. It's not the ordinary. Is that water valves? My mind could have been playing tricks on me, but it seemed to be some angel distant noises. Angel distant noises. Does it mean that hidden compartment next to the three value vases? Nope. 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 Go back in. I'm the dragon. Leave a really cool breeze on my neck. Was then I realized I wanted to leave the basement as soon as possible. I'm done with the basement. I know there's someone in there. We have to check. Talk to Cherry again. He knew some more. Maybe the thing I did was, uh, went wrong. Hello? Jerry, all the fuses seem to be fine. I think the problem might be a little more complicated than that. What should we do now? Go get some candles. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. I'm calling this guy right away, and I'm afraid he won't be able to stop by until tomorrow. He was already driving there today as a personal favor. There must be something you can do. I don't feel comfortable walking around this place with dim lights. I barely know it. Michael, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? It would be like you were living in a past century. Exquisite Victorian house, lit by candles. What I wouldn't give to be in your place. I left my sense of adventuring back in London, thanks. I have work to do. Then do it! What else could you ask for? Now you have the chance to experience firsthand one of your period pieces. Oh, very funny. Try getting that guy over here as soon as possible. Don't worry, I will. Make sure you find some candles before it gets too dark. Yes, 
candles. Bye. We live dying over Jerry. We listen to really explore enough to determine there wouldn't be any candles inside the house. Yep. I've explored the house multiple times. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Amazing, it was a save behind a picture. The know the combination and safe cracking certainly is my expertise. It looks so eerie when when a cutscene is going. Right, but we at least know that there's a thing. Right, always check the paintings then as well. Apparently, thanks to a lovely guy that I'm following, because uh, I've had enough looking around everything the entire time, there is a rot, and I never noticed that. Which means I need to check a lot better. The small rod that I found in the upper bathroom. I do it to you. What to do with a random rod? I don't know. There might be something about that murder. I looked through the data Jared told me and found an interesting article. Sir James Blackwood, the distinguished resident of the town and the widely acknowledged destruction area, was accused of murder yesterday by Miss Eva Moria Moriani, head of the Blackwood family. He killed a maid! Damn. Well, the nature of the situation is the most unusual. Given that Mr. Blackwood is a highly respected gentleman, Miss Moriani, an Italian immigrant and aspiring photographer, affirms to having a photograph that supports this accusation. I knew no one would ever believe me, so I took a picture of him, she says. I was supposed to be in time during an afternoon, but I didn't have to need to. I mean, I didn't have any errands to do so. I was in my room and draw I saw the shadow out in the garden. When I glanced through the window, I just couldn't believe my eyes. The lady. Oh, God. The sole thought of it sent shivers down my spine. The photograph in question is the possession of the authorities. Damn it. And it has been revealed that it clearly shows Mr. Blackwood. Burying a shape in his garden. I must confirm that the shape is a body. As police chief William Bailey. And even if the image is not clear, this alone with Miss Mariani's statement is enough to open a serious case against Mr. Blackwood. Police officers are already heading to the Blackwood Manor as we speak. Until this accusation, it was believed that Mrs. Mrs. Catherine Blackwood was on the was on a trip. According to the information received from the school where she teaches. Police chief continues, a notice was sent to the teacher's apartment which said that Mrs. Blackwood had to leave on a sudden trip and that she would make use of her license to do so. Miss Marianne's accusation puts Mr. Blackwood in a very compromising situation. Even if he can't find anything in the garden, he has a lot of explaining to do. The efforts of Dr. Christopher Milton, one of Rothbury's most respected doctors and longtime friend of the Blackwood family, to minimize the facts that have been unsuccessful, was successful and the news is a subject of discussion throughout the whole town. Hundreds of rumors are crossing the lands. Theories range from plausible and well-conceived to wild and crackpot ideas. But the question that keeps lingering in everybody's mind for which the answer has yet to be found is why would a wealthy and educated man called Harley murder his wife after 30 years of marriage? Question. Let's go back. Thanks for that cable to drop. But of the way. Alright, let's go to our car and get get out of here, I guess. Let's find a motel to, to, to live in. Until the, the man is back. The one just read and the idea of driving in was very tempting. Oh, he's a top to cherry again. Alright, the re. <sighs> because I. Checked the entire house already. He he did give me that statement of that there are no candles in the house, even though I checked the entire house. But because I already talked to Jerry at the time, I didn't know that I had to talk him back because the game works like that. Yes. Jerry, I'm freaking out. I couldn't find a single candle inside this place. Yes, every single room, draw, box, cabinet, nothing. No candles. Multiple times. All right, listen. The town isn't too far away. No more than 20 minutes.
Sunday's drive. If you can't find some candles there, I'll eat my hat. You'll eat your whole closet. This is getting on my nerves. Come on, it's just a quick ride. You know how to get there? Yeah, I saw it on my way here. Did you call Mr. Busy Electrician who couldn't hold on for just five more minutes? Yes, he'll be doing me another special favor and we'll be going there tomorrow afternoon. It's the best he can do. You have to bear in mind it's Sunday. We'll charge extra, of course. I don't care. I have no power. I'll get him myself if he doesn't show up. Calm down. Drive to the town before it gets too dark. You won't be able to find your way back if it does. Yeah, I had to buy some food anyway. There you go. Godspeed. And drive safe. How much time is it now? Six! Shit! Time goes by fast. Well, not fast for me. It's the opposite. It's looking like it's getting darker. Let's get you a car. Let it find get you out of here. Car will not start. It's only then that I realized I had left the lights on. Car battery was dead. Oh, silly. Oh my god, it's even darker now. Or is it? It does look darker now. I started the car at 7 p.m. Or, 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 or something. Insane. My car is dead. What? Are you sure? Have you checked its pulse? I'm not joking. It's gone. My friend, this completely redefines the term suspension of disbelief you sometimes use for your stories. I know. I'm speechless. I forgot the lights on and the car ran out of batteries. All because of that bloody fog. Jerry, you've got to help me. Get over here. Michael, look at the time. I can't drive to Northumberland. Right now. But Jerry, I can't spend the whole night without one single source of light. I barely know this place, and I won't be able to find my way. Heck, I don't even know if it's rid of ghosts yet. Are you a sleepwalker, Michael? You lie down on the bed, you sleep, you wake up, and you'll have tons of bright light then. That's not helping, and you're the one who got me into this mess in the first place. Hold on a minute. It's not my fault if the electrician missed you for a few minutes. There aren't any candles in a three-story mansion, and your car's battery was low. Okay, okay, listen. When will you be coming back to Rothbury? I'll be arriving home early tomorrow morning, and I'll come for you shortly after. We'll drive to town, stock yourself up, and then spend the rest of the day in your garden, drinking some beers while we wait for Mr. Electrician. Sounds like a plan? Yeah, I guess. And I don't think there's any plan B either. I'm afraid not. Sorry. I really took all the precautions to make your stay there as comfortable as possible. But I guess sometimes things are just meant to go wrong. Apparently. All right. I'll be on my way then. Call me back if you need anything. And Michael? Yes? Just don't let this situation get on your nerves. I promise it won't. Goodbye. Such a lovely man. Right. I'm lying to this point. I covered a very tempting safe in the main bedroom by the fake painting. Thing is very, very visible. I didn't see it. Oh, never mind. I only probably used to store for valuable. I'm sure, at least interesting things there. I tried to come up with a combination. One article regarding a murder Jerry told me about. The situation was vague and left, and left many queries. I wonder if Blackwood was wrongfully accused. Well, there goes the crowning glory of my troubled first day. Well, we'll start. Blessed Fog is a culprit. I forgot and left the lights on, and of course, I have been too busy to bother with the car. I should ask Jerry to come for me. Well, that's it for today. Wasn't exactly the first day I was expecting. But I'll get over it, in spite of everything. I'm looking forward to continuing the exploring of my incredible new home tomorrow. I won't be able to drive today, I'm on my own. Alone, no lights, and I don't even know the house yet. 
I did know that I was that I was getting into the coming here, but still I was expecting. Alright, so I guess we just go to sleep then. It's getting darker. It is getting dark. Holy crap. Sadly, we also don't have any oil, but we're gonna stock up in the room. So let's just go home, go and go to our bed. Be good nappy nap. It's getting late. Perhaps it's now a good time to go to sleep. Yeah. I lay down on the bed. No, 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 please. I was awakened from my strange dream by some odd noises reverberating around the room. Back. I was awakened in the middle of the night with some strange noises. Like an obsessive scratching coming from somewhere deep in the house. I don't like this at all, and I should probably investigate. Should we? Let's say something in here. Air fuse carved tusk rock buying corner of the gallery. One move. I don't see anything there, so I'm just gonna go. Let's go down. I think the scratches come from the basement. No. I thought about the vest game, but then I realized the basement would pitch like at this time. I'm gonna go down there without some light. Sally won't be available to visit the sons anymore. A camper seen inside a bedroom without some light. That's left to cope with them for the time being. Ah, go back to bed then. I'm glad he realized that he cannot investigate. He's smart enough to think to know that he cannot go further. Which I'm glad. Well, let's go back to sleep. Not until I figure out. Fireplace? This time it was already chilly enough inside. Oh, right. 
Listen carefully as I move this telescope around the fireplace. I just were coming from there, but I still can determine the source. something oh. oh okay I've been consumed by a couple of wheels one move I'm stupid. But if I find some wheels, that's something. I really am stupid. I really need to start being smart. Like, holy crap, I am not. That's what it is. I whisper devilly spying to the fireplace. Bubba Vice some gun though. Concluding that it had to be coming from below. Okay. So now we check. go further down. So now we can check the basement maybe. God damn it I'm bad at games. I'm bad at puzzle games more like it's what it seem. But, uh, over there down the basement is I wanted to find a source of the scratch, I wouldn't be able to perceive a light source of some kind. Managed to trace the sounds to a fireplace. There are need coming from below the house, perhaps some machinery. Possible, no without power. Roman? Just isn't so. Can we now sleep? That's a weird thing to check. Yeah. What about this? Will, will he say something about it now? Nope. It does not. Oh, we just find that there are wheels and the thing. Show me stuck, stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Scratches have stopped. I thought it was the right moment for me to go back to sleep. Run back to bed after wasting half an hour figuring out where the scratches are coming from.